Hi, my name is J.R. Tallman, and in this NetSuite tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect your NetSuite environment to ChatGPT. Now, before we get started, you will need to have a Plus, Pro, or Business license within ChatGPT to connect to NetSuite. So just keep that in mind, as the free plan will not work. Now, the first thing we're going to do to make sure that we can connect is to enable two features. This can be found underneath Setup, Company, and Enable Features. Once on the Enable Features page, you can go to the Suite Cloud sub-tab here. And you're gonna to wanna to ensure that the server suite script is enabled. So go ahead and check that off, as well as the OAuth 2.0 down below here is also enabled. So those are two requirements that need to be checked off before we can connect to ChatGPT. So go ahead and save that. And then the next thing we're gonna do is to make sure that we have a role specified that we're gonna be using with our ChatGPT connection. This role must have two different permissions on it and the administrator or the full access role natively out of NetSuite will not work. So just keep that in mind as well. So you will need to have a customized role that we're gonna be looking at in just a moment here. So to do so, we're gonna to go to set up users and roles and manage roles. Now, as part of my development environment, I have this dev accountant that I've already created. I'm not gonna edit this dev accountant role. And on this role, if I go down here to the setup sub list, there's two particular permissions that we're gonna need. The first one is gonna be the MCP server connection. Make sure that is set here with full level access. And then the second permission that you're gonna need is the login using OAuth 2.0 access tokens. Don't get that confused with just the access tokens. It does need to be login using OAuth 2.0 access tokens, and that is also set to full. So once you have those two particular permissions on your role that you're gonna be using with the ChatGPT connection, you can go ahead and save that role. The next thing we're gonna do before we actually set up the connection within ChatGPT is to install the MCP Standard Tool Suite app. So if you go to the Suite Apps tab at the top here, I'm simply gonna go ahead and type in MCP, and you should be brought to this MCP Standard Tools. So go ahead and click on this, and in this environment, I have installed it already. So you can see it says installed. If it is not installed in your environment, go ahead and click on the install. It shouldn't take too long in to install, and it should be successful. Now, the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to ChatGPT, and again, you must have a Plus, Pro, or Business License to set this up. And once in ChatGPT, you're gonna go to your name on the bottom left-hand corner, and then click on settings here. And once on the settings, you're gonna go into apps and connectors. And on this page, you are gonna click this create in the top right-hand corner right next to the apps. NetSuite doesn't have a native connector here. We're gonna create a custom one that we're gonna be using. If you don't see that create, go ahead and go to advanced settings here and make sure that the developer mode is enabled. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on create. Feel free to give this an icon for NetSuite if you want, but I'm gonna give this a name, and in this case, I'm gonna call this NetSuite Dev, since I'm using a development account. Feel free to give it a description here. And the next thing is gonna be the MCP server URL. Now, this is important, as this is gonna be used for the connection to NetSuite. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put in the description of this video exactly what this should be spelled out with, with this URL, but basically, this should have your account ID, that you're gonna be using to integrate to NetSuite, and then it should have this exact URL. We're gonna be using OAuth with the connection, and then I'm just gonna simply agree to the terms here. Once done, you can go ahead and click on Create. And now this will take me to NetSuite or to log into NetSuite. And you can see right here, I'm using the administrator role that I was just logged in with, and it's asking me to switch to another role that has those two permissions. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that role that I'm gonna be using, which is our Dev Accountant role. And once I've switched to that dev accountant role, as you can see here, I do need to go ahead and continue here, which is saying ChatGPT will have access to this dev instance. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. And you can see now the NetSuite dev is now connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. Now, one thing before we get into the prompts here is NetSuite will automatically create an integration record for ChatGPT. So if we go back into NetSuite here, you can find that underneath setup, integration, and manage integrations. So right now here, you can see ChatGPT was automatically created with this integration record. So that is automatically created. So just keep that in mind. If you are trying to connect to other LLMs besides ChatGPT or Claude, you will need to have an integration record manually created. All right, once we're back inside ChatGPT here, I'm gonna go to make sure that we're connected to our NetSuite dev instance. So I clicked on the little plus icon, went to more, and I'm gonna click on NetSuite dev. And the first prompt I'm gonna give it is, can you produce me an income statement for this year? And so we'll see if it comes back with an income statement for this year. So as you can see, it does come back and produce that report within my environment. Now you'd wanna make sure that the, the report is accurate based on what you're looking at because it can certainly make mistakes. 
Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to create a new vendor. So this that was just pulling a report. I'm going to go ahead and ask it, can you please create a new vendor in my account called test chat GPT vendor and use the default subsidiary. And I'm going to go back into NetSuite and we're going to make sure that we give it a default subsidiary. Otherwise, it may air out. So in my instance, on my vendor record, I'm going to go and give it called parent company. And so we'll see what ChatGPT comes back with. All right, as you can see, it's asking to create that record. And I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this. And it was successful. So it's saying it's a successful and it has internal ID 454. So if we go back into NetSuite and we go to my list of vendors, you'll see here 454 was created, test ChatGPT vendor. So if I go ahead and look at that and view this, it should, again, just have that default subsidiary, right? You can see parent company. I could have gave it more information if I wanted to, as far as address, email, really any information that is required for that render record. But it was very easy to ask ChatGPT and create this. And if I look underneath system information, just so you're aware here underneath the system notes, you can see that I, it was set by myself using a context of custom tool. So keep that in mind. The context is a little different than you normally would see with user interface, UI, script, or CSV. Now, the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask it to actually create a script, and we'll see how advanced we can get with this. So I'm going to ask it, can you please create a script that defaults the department on vendor bill lines to sales? And we'll see what it comes back with. All right, so it's giving me the script here that is going to default the lines of a vendor bill to sales, and it's asking me to upload this and deploy it. I'm gonna go ahead and see then if this can deploy it automatically for me. Can you please deploy this for me? Since it is connected, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this and we'll see if it deploys in my environment. And so you can see here, it doesn't have permissions to deploy the scripts directly. So it's giving me options to upload the script and then create that deployment. But again, it will create the, the script for you based on your data and you could ask it really anything that you normally would ask it with ChatGPT, but now it is connected to your NetSuite data. So test this out, obviously in a safe environment, whether it be your sandbox or a development instance, because it does have access to your data. If you do want to use a different LLM, feel free to adjust the connector with Claude or another application. I hope you found this useful to connect to ChatGPT, and certainly let me know if you have questions in the comments. Thank you.